Welcome, I'm your host, Malcolm Gallagher. From our BizVision studios in the UK, you're watching across the world, the BVTV Leadership Matters channel. Now, sport as a career sounds ideal to many. Money, excitement, the roar of the crowd. But there comes a time, and all too often too soon, when the boots have to be a hung up for the last time. Sadly, too few sports people have planned their exit. It just happens one day. Now, that may be fine for the mega paid stars, but many of the uh, many other players across many other sports now have to make a change in their life. I wanted to find out how easy or hard it is to make that change, to start a new career after sport. So one of my recent guests, Dom Heinhorn of Unicorn, is also president of the renowned Salat Rugby Club in France and promised to introduce me to two uh, transforming players. By, by that, I mean they're making the change to business while still playing. So let me introduce you to one of those players, the star kicker for Salat Rugby and off-field as the digital content manager and project leader at eSport platform formation.gg. Welcome, Sarafan Bordoli. Welcome, Sarafan. Hey, hi, Malcolm. How are you doing? Excellent. It's lovely to be talking to you today. Um, uh, Sarah, I'm, I'm delighted you're kindly guesting on our BBTV leadership show. Later, I'll be talking to uh, one of your other colleagues, Lucas Canada. So my viewers and star listeners get two solid stars. Come on, hey, that's good value, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not yeah, bad. It's, yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, in this BBTV talk show, I'll be talking to Sarafan in three parts. Uh, first part, I'll ask him about how he sees the comparison uh, between his two roles. Where does he see the difference and the similarity between sport and business? In part two, I'll ask him his thoughts on overcoming adversity, uh, something that happens in both business and sport. And in part three, I'm asking Sarafan how he's using his sports team leader skills in his role as project leader at formation.gg. Sarafan, before we get into that three-part chat, uh, can you briefly introduce yourself to my viewers and listeners? Who is Sarafan Bodoli? Where have you come from? And where do you believe you're going to in life and career? Oh, and what is Formation GG? All right. Yeah, before I answer you this question maybe i need to answer them to me i'm not sure where i'm going and where i came from but uh, i was born in argentina 25 years ago um i've been a professional rugby player until this season until covid actually um then i moved here into france into sarla um and now i'm doing both things you know like business and rugby uh and try to find my way for the future. Excellent. So what does Formation GG, .gg do, by the way? Oh, Formation, Formation GG is an eSport platform or a gaming platform that we launched uh, roughly one month ago, mm. where you can actually we call it like all-in-one platform, you know? So in this platform, you can play games, create tournaments. You can, uh, you, you will have written content. You have video content. Uh, you will play against your friends, against, against people that you don't even know on the other side of the world. Um, and we're doing pretty good. Uh, just, it's just a start. It's just the beginning, but I think we're doing pretty good and mm -hmm. we're happy and we're working on it uh, every single day. We have a big team working on the back of it so mm. yeah i can i can imagine with lockdown that uh you know that the platform would have really really taken off i, I know my son-in-law has spent more time on on football manager or whatever it may be in that time you know it's yeah. going to be the right time hasn't it yeah it's absolutely the right time uh gaming around the world is increasing every year like five percent around uh, mostly with the COVID and the lockdowns and everything going going on, uh, it's a huge market to, to explore. Mm, yeah. Look, just before we move on, a, a little quick question I want to ask you. You know, uh, you were telling me beforehand that you played rugby in England until last August. What? what, uh, what yeah. What What's the difference in in teams and and rugby between England and France? Well, uh, it's quite different, actually. 
first of all, well, the level I was playing in England, it was England Championship, so it's second division of England. And here in France, I play, uh, I'm playing Federal 2. There is like the fourth division. Um, the, but uh, both countries are absolutely crazy about rugby. They got crazy crowds. Uh, everyone is so passionate. Uh, it's quite fun, and uh, I find it quite similar in some ways. Uh, but yeah, it's it's absolutely amazing to explore every single country uh, the way they do live rugby. Yeah, and and is it really true that in England rugby players drink loads of beer, but in France you just sip a glass of wine after the match? Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do agree. In England, you guys you drink a lot of beer from three in the afternoon until I don't know what time. I go to bed at nine, but. Yeah, and then here in France, and here in France, after the games, we used to have a lot of uh, wine and cheese. Yeah, yeah, but not not that much beer. <laughs> Very sophisticated. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let Let's kick off. No pun intended, by the way. Uh, you know, you are the star kicker. But let's kick off our talk with part one. How do you see? How do you see the comparison between your two current roles? Where do you see the difference and the similarity between sport and business? After all, sport is a business too, isn't it? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I see. I think they're more similar than different, right? Um, here where we work, we're also a team. We also need each other. We also need to be focused to give 100% of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we also need to practice, actually. Uh, I'm sure that uh, I'm not the same guy now that the guy that started working like um, a few months ago. I, I know that I'm improving. Um, I know that everyone's improving. And obviously to improve and to make everything work and to, to get to our objective, that mm -hmm. is being the, 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 the biggest and the best gaming platform around um we need each other we need to work as a team we need to push all in the same direction we need to cover our our, our teammates when when we make a mistake like in rugby you know in rugby if we're playing together and you miss a tackle or i miss a tackle i'm the one missing tackle actually uh i know that you'll be running the guy uh, all, all the pitch down just trying yeah. to tackle him and and you're gonna cover me and you're gonna have my back and if I do mistakes, I know you, you'll be with me and you're just going to give me a head, a head ups. But, but yeah, um, in that aspect, it's quite similar, I think. Yeah, so, um, so that's trust, isn't it? Trust. Yeah, yeah you, absolutely. You, yeah. 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 Cool. We, need, we, we, the, we need to trust each other and, and we need all the pieces of the, of the team to work. Uh, yeah. If one of the pieces fail, if one of the um, of, of yeah, like in a in a rugby game, if one fails, then uh, it's difficult for the team to to get what we want. Yeah, the whole pack falls down, doesn't it? But listen, yeah. I, just just to something you just said beforehand, you're a different person. Um, what are you proud about? The, the any change that you've made from when you were in England to what you're doing now in, in France? Well, where's the difference? What are you proud about of having achieved? Well, I'm actually now I'm more open mind maybe. Uh, at the beginning for me, it was just rugby. And yeah. I was born and I, I started playing rugby at five years old. And it was rugby, rugby, rugby until I get to Argentina and now their 20s national team. Yeah, And then I went to Italy for playing rugby. I went to England just for rugby. But then I got a bad injury and, and, and then COVID as well. So after that, I realized that maybe it's not just rugby. There's, there's more things in, in life than rugby. And well, uh, that's it actually. Now, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm a different person. You know, I'm, a, I'm not just very square on rugby and just that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you're lucky in a way to be making the change at 25 because I, I discussed with your colleague Lucas and said some people get to 35 and suddenly you know their life is cut off. Uh, so you're making the change early, aren't you? Yeah. I'm, I'm at least trying. I don't know if I'm making the change. I don't know if I made it today. Um, now, but. But yeah, at least I'm trying to make it, and and I think we uh, I'm going well. You know, uh, yeah. I, you obviously want to keep playing rugby, want to 
keep getting signed by a big team and making my career and playing Argentina national team and whatever. <laughs> but but yeah, uh, now I, I do realize that life is more than that. And I also need to, 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 oh, it's not a split the way, but I mean, mm. to have like different options. Yeah. Because yeah. one day, one day I won't be able to play rugby. I won't be able to be, here playing for for Sarla and and working in Mobcast on Unicorn Formation, uh, and I would need to find a way a way around. Mm, yeah, I, I think it's fascinating what people like yourselves bring to a startup like, like uh, Formation. There, but it is a startup, and and you know you you can get lots of knockbacks, can't you? In a startup, you're not you're not coming in and everything's working well. It's like building a team, and you know you've got to have resilience, haven't you? Resilience. Yeah, resilience, strength. You know. Ah, okay. Ah, resilience. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I thought you said Brazilian. So it's like no, Brazilian. Brazilian. Not from Brazil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, resilience. Yeah. Well, absolutely. As I told you, we just we just launched one month ago. Yeah. And we're doing quite well. Um, yeah. There, there's a lot of things to improve, honestly, because uh, as you said, we're a startup. Um, we we starting from from the bottom, from zero. But we go growing up quite fast, and everything's growing up quite quite in a good way let's say yeah so yeah we need to keep uh learning to keep uh giving our best and there we go we, we we'll find a, mm. a, a way to 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 triumph right yeah yeah I, I think that's what sports people bring to business that you know you the, the knocking back but we'll we'll come into that in, in part two before we move into part two i'd just like to remind viewers and listeners of your website urls so viewers obviously you can see them on the screen behind me so please take down them uh, for listeners let me spell that out for you the esports platform that Sarifan was talking about is formation dot GG. I know that sounds a strange uh, suffix, isn't it? Formation.gg. Go and have a look. It's, it really is fascinating. And I really like the other um, website, Sarlat Rugby, and that's S-A-R-L-A-T, sarlatrugby.com. And I think a lot of rugby clubs could uh, do with having a look at, uh, at the sarlatrugby.com website because it's very lively. <laughs> and I, I thought it was quite amusing that even the president and the directors are dressed up in, in uh, one of the uh, Sarlat Rugby uh, uh, shirts you know just, i just yeah. can't see dom dom in the scrum though. that's <laughs> the thing that's the thing you know oh uh, why not yeah i think you you haven't met him personally but he's a big guy huh he's probably 120 kilos and he's one one 190 probably so yeah, right. okay. yeah so he could be in a scrum yeah well yeah probably probably but it yeah. i think it's a great website it's 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 very fan oriented and I found that when I looked at formation.gg, you'd almost mirrored that because you were being very friendly to people who want to go there. And the rugby we uh, website is really fan oriented, which is great. So it's time for part two. Now, I want to ask you your thoughts on overcoming personal adversity, something that happens in both business and sport, by the way, and also the mental challenge faced by many today with COVID and the economy. How did you manage your challenges and what top tips can you give viewers and listeners? Well, uh, as I told you, for me, it was all about rugby before COVID. Uh, but then I think this stop but because everything has stopped, it give us time to think, give us time to be with ourselves or, or, or maybe with our, our families and, and to, to look to the future, to take a look of, mm. or, or about what we're going to do, what, what we are doing. Um, so, yeah, I know it's, it, it, there are hard times. And um, as, as in rugby, we, 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 all of us, we were winning games but 10, by 10 points with five minutes left and, and we lost. Uh, but we also have been on the other side, right? Yeah. We also have, have won games that we thought that they were lost. So um, it's about maybe keep pushing and then keep trying to find a way to, to, 
to go through it because at some point this, uh, and I hope it's soon, this is going to stop, mm. hopefully. So we just need to to go through it, to be patient and to to keep pushing and to try to, to find what we can do about this. Mm. Uh, do, do you think we, 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 we go on? Sorry, my problem. No, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, no, don't worry. No, I was gonna say that we we not gonna go anyway, any, anywhere. Sorry, yeah. if we just complain about COVID and yeah. about lockdown, about we just need to to find what we can do the best in this in this period. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? Um, uh, and I think it's a powerful word. Attitude is what it's all about. There, you know, because you can suddenly feel that the world is on top of you, can't you? You can feel that nobody else has got the problems that you have, but you know, everybody's got a problem haven't they is it so attitude to pull you out of it yeah absolutely i do agree uh we're all in the same situations we are stuck at home we are um, here we have a cook with food mm-hmm. is, it means that at 6 p.m you need to be at your place yeah you cannot uh, be around uh every single day and yeah it's hard but it's the same for all of us and apparently uh for the, the it's the best solution we can find in here in france at least so, yeah, it's not about, uh, it's not something personal. It's not something that's just happening to you or to me. It's, it's mm. about you, it's about me, it's about my family, your family, your friends. We are in the same situation. We are the same, uh, in the same, yeah, in the same situation, right? So, yeah, it's about attitude, about uh, trying to, to, to get the best of it, to, to, to find another way to go through it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, at the beginning, I thought like, okay, yeah, this is going to be two months, right? Well, now it's been a year or maybe more. Mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I've done many things. I, I, I've, I've, uh, I've done French lessons. I was right. Italian teacher. I was uh, English, uh, Spanish teacher. Uh, I've done many things. I, 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 I trained. I, I said like, okay, I'm not training anymore. I play rugby again uh, then i said like, okay i'm not gonna tra- uh, i'm not gonna train now I'm, I'm i'm focused on the next season uh same same with uh with here in the in the office i said like okay i'm not gonna work anymore i'm gonna go back to argentina but then uh all the projects we have all of them are very exciting mm. so yeah uh, they you can have a lot of up and downs but at the end of the day uh, i just you just need to keep going right yeah, yeah. And as long as you have more ups than down than you have downs, and hey, life's yeah, good, isn't yeah. it? Life's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you know. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So Ruben, now for part three. How are you using your sports team leader skills in your role as project leader at Formation GG? I know it's a startup business, and as Dom Heinhorn has said quite bluntly to me, entrepreneur, after all, is a French word. But in sports, yeah. For in sport, it's all about the winning, but surely in business, you have to have a balance, don't you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, as you said, we're just starting with it. So as we're just starting, we have to make a lot of decisions. And sometimes uh, we have different opinions, you know, mm. between Lucas and Dom and me and all the people involved on in formation. We have different opinions. But at the, at, at the end of it, we just need to choose one, go one way, but we all go the same, we all go the same way, you know? Yeah. Uh, if we just start to argue because of, of, of decisions and, and, and stuff, is, we, we, we're going nowhere. So, um, yeah, I think that, that that's it. Basically, uh, we need to support each other, right? Mm-hmm. We need to make whatever we decide to make, we need to make it at 100% or 110%. In rugby, we like to say 110% and not just 100%. Um, and yes, uh, even if I'm not convinced on what another one says, and, and we, we just need to go with it and, and, and push. And the same if they're not convinced of what I say, maybe uh, and we use my, my, we need to take my option yeah or, or my thought we just need to go all together and and just support the whichever decision we have made yeah yeah I, I quite like that other word that seems to have crept into what we're thinking there and that is commitment isn't it you know once you've made the decision collectively you all have to be committed to moving forward surely that's to do with teamwork as well 
yeah, as I said at the beginning, if, if one of us is not 100% commit, then we, we, we're not going to work as a team, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so if you're going to get this 100% of the team, we need to give all our 100%. Yeah. Right? Excellent. Now, Seraphon, I've got to be going leaving France soon. Otherwise, I'll be caught in the our, uh, curfew time. And I don't want yeah. that. You know, I mean, you know, <laughs> all right. I could yeah. be locked up forever. But just before I, before I, I, I finish, I just want to remind viewers and listeners again of the, the two websites I want them to visit. And I want you to go and look at the esports platform at formation.gg, formation.gg, and just go and have a look at what a great fan um oriented website is at sarletrugby.com sarletrugby.com without a doubt moving from a sports career into a business career can be daunting especially if you don't plan it correctly but as, as i trust you've heard from Sarifan, if, if done correctly it can be game changing so many thanks Sarifan bodoli for a great interview yeah, thanks to you, Malcolm. I'm glad to be here, and it was very good. I like it. I hope the people like it too. 